I am Janice Knuckles from Brigham Young University. I'm a professor of linguistics. We are near the town of Tena in the Amazonian rainforest of Ecuador. We're here for the Ecuador Study Abroad program. We are here to do linguistic research on a language called Quechua. So Quechua people are an indigenous people here in Ecuador, kind of like the Indians and Native Americans in America. Quechua is an ancient language that's at least 2,000 years old. Everyone kind of has their own project for what we're doing down here to pick apart their language and their culture to learn more about it. So we have classes in the morning where we learn Quechua just like any other language class, but we have native speakers there to help us and correct us and teach us new things. It's a lot different from learning in a classroom because sometimes in a normal classroom you feel disconnected from the material. But here when you get to see the lives that the people live who, who speak the language that you're studying, you get to look through a different lens and experience their culture in a more authentic way. So one of the things that Matthew learned was that when he was trying to ask people about their perceptions of colors and what color words they would use for different objects, he learned that people didn't necessarily think of color terms in the abstract. Instead, they would look at something that was a certain color for us, like blue or green, and say, that's the color of the Pitsitsangu bird's foot. So I'm working on semantic hand gestures. They talk a lot with their hands, and so I'm here doing a project on what their hand movements mean, or if they mean anything at all. They don't have a written language, and so a lot of their expression comes through movement. This morning, after I finished breakfast, I asked one of the women if she'd eaten well, and she looked at me and said, suck, suck and patted her stomach. And that's a fairly common thing that when you're full, when you're satisfied with your meal, you, you pat right here and say sock sock. Yeah. Our student Brenna is very interested in, in indigenous forms of agriculture. So she took a big white sheet of paper and she asked two speakers to diagram uh, where they would plant things if it was their own chakra, their agricultural field. So our speakers, not being able to read or write, started picking up little stones and pebbles and placing them all over the piece of paper and telling us exactly what they would plant where. It's really cool to see how well they know the world that they live in, how, how well they understand their environment. It's been a stretch for my mind, and it's been really great to try to see the world from their perspective. Oh, a high point uh, for us was visiting a cacao farm and getting the Quechua-speaking man to guide us through his farm, giving us names of the different cacao plants and letting us taste each of the varieties and also learn new words to describe these varieties, their textures and their tastes. Manduru, manduru. Manduru, manduru. We got to paint our faces with plants from the forest and we got to try like four different kinds of cacao beans. Being here in the Amazon has been an incredible experience. It's a beautiful place and there's always something new to learn about. It's been amazing to be able to talk with these people and to feel like I could communicate with this someone who speaks a language I'd never heard of prior to this program. Going home after this program, I will have a much better understanding of them as fellow humans, as my brothers and sisters. The people here are like people with real, real lives not just people that I read about in articles.